Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdurrahman Uthman, a student of King Faisal University. In this video, we will discuss sequence constraints by recalling our DDL statements for creating tables. We already know that constraints are rules to assure the integrity of data. No one wants their names misspelled or their salary to become negative, right? That's why we need constraints. Here are some common constraints. In ABEX, not null, default, unique, primary key, foreign key, and check can be declared at the column definition. Unique, primary key, foreign key, and check can be declared after all column definitions or at the table level. Let's illustrate this using companies and business types tables. We first have to create table business types as its ID is a foreign key in companies table. Click SQL Workshop, then SQL Commands. Take note that this primary key was defined at the column level. Moreover, since it's a primary key, it's automatically not null. We will create companies table twice. First at column level, then at table level. Now let's create the company's table. Company ID is primary key, constraint 1. We will make company name unique, constraint 2. And not null, constraint 3. The capital has to be greater than zero. Constraint four. And let's make one the default for business type ID. Constraint five. And business type ID is foreign key. Constraint six. Let's create it again with constraints defined at table level. A drop companies table. We create it. Start with columns. Company name is not null. Business type ID has default of 1. Primary key is company ID. Unique is company name. Capital is greater than 0. Foreign key is business type ID. You can also add on delete option here with cascade or set null. We will explain this further in the next lessons. Last, you can also name these constraints by using the keyword constraint followed by the name. If you want to check the constraints, we can use the library, user, cons, columns, and just specify the table name. Take note that all tables are internally saved with capital letters.
In our next video, we will continue discussing constraints using alter table. Thank you for your interest in this channel. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for your notification on new videos.